Thanks, John. Let's uh, change the pace a little bit. Next week, Congress is going to be holding the first uh, hearing into UFOs in 50 years. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, there's going to be two people from the Pentagon uh, testifying. Can you comment about that? And also, can you tell us any update on the uh, airborne objects identification and management synchronization group, otherwise known as AOMSIG? Any update on what they're doing? Uh, I don't have an update for you on uh, on the 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 UAP uh, group that you're talking about. Uh, um, we're still uh, uh, working uh, to uh, sufficiently staff uh, that organization and get them into a battle rhythm, but I don't have any updates for you. And I could not hear your first question. Can you comment about next week, Congress is going to hold the first hearing in 50 years on UFOs, UAPs. I was wondering if you just comment on that, since two people from uh, U.S. military are going to be uh, testifying there. Yeah, no, we're, look, um, we're we're looking forward to the upcoming opportunity here to engage members of Congress uh, on on this uh, very important matter. Um, I'm not going to get ahead of that testimony, but uh, uh, but we are absolutely committed to being as transparent as we can with the American people and with members of Congress about uh, um, uh, uh, about our perspectives on this and uh, and what we're going to try to do to uh, to make sure we uh, have a better process for identifying uh, uh, these uh, phenomena, uh, analyzing that information uh, in a more proactive, coordinated way than it's been done in the past, and that we also are doing what we need to do to mitigate any safety issues uh, as, as uh, many of these uh, Phenomena have been cited in, in, in training ranges uh, and in training environments, and so um, uh, uh, we're very much concerned about safety of flight. So we're looking forward to the opportunity to talk to Congress about this. I won't get ahead of the hearing, though. Quickly, how concerned is the Pentagon that these might be some kind of uh, adversary, um, you know, objects from somebody like China or Russia, et cetera? I uh, I, I don't have we don't have a, a view on that. Uh, uh, Howard, I mean, we're, we're uh, there's there's been enough of uh, uh, of the sightings um, in, in terms of particularly in terms of training ranges that uh, that we do have we think legitimate safety of flight concerns here, um, but but uh, the department hasn't come to a conclusion um, uh, about what all these phenomena uh, are, what they represent. Uh, that's why we're putting this group together so that we can do a better job of just collating the information. It's been sort of ad hoc in the past in terms of uh, a pilot here or a pilot there seeing something um, and the reporting procedures haven't been consistent. So what we're trying to do with this group is get together a process here. And I know process isn't very fun uh, for you to report on and probably not very fun for me to talk about, but that's what we need. We need a better process. That's what this group is going to do for us.